And we're gonna go check out my Rat Zapper Ultra that I did buy. I had an earlier version of uh, the Rat Zapper. It was the classic. Um, the battery terminals basically rusted out on that one. And then I went to the website for uh, Victor and they had a uh, sale that you can get three of these for $99, which was cheaper than Amazon and everywhere else. So I've already caught three mice with it. And I'm going to my attic now to see if we caught another one, which we did not. But you can see that this is the Rat Zapper Ultra. Uh, you would know if you caught one because there'd be a flashing red light on top right there. Uh, really easy to bait and arm. <clears throat> if you look at this, uh, what they do is the mouse, the mouse goes in. And then it gets zapped on the inside as it tries to get the bait at the end. Uh, what I use for bait is, let me see if I can get it out. There we go. Just use a, uh, <clears throat> a cap from a old bottle. I put some peanut butter in there. I like crunchy peanut butter. That's what I use. And then I put it in the cap though, so that way it slides back and doesn't go up the trap. And you just angle it back. And it drops all the way to the back. You can also use dog food, stuff like that. Um, after you do that, you want to turn it on. And if you notice, it has a line in a circle. The line has to be pushed down for it to be on. And you'll know it gets armed because there'll be a green light that comes on. That's it. It's ready to go. It's really hot in this attic, too. Woo. But, uh, <laughs> anyways, I've caught like. Let me see, one, two, three, four, four mice. I got two traps out, uh, one in my work shed on the outside that caught one, and then uh, I could hear mice up here at night, so I put this back up here, and I haven't had a problem since, but I caught three mice in the trap. So that's it. You just put it in a path where mice will run into it and smell the peanut butter, want a little taste to go in, and they get zapped. Uh, the awesome thing is that when you get one, and if I catch another one, I don't know if I have any more, but if I catch another one, I'll show you how we dispose of it. But if I don't get that opportunity, the mouse will be in the trap. You just take the trap outside, and you dump out the mouse with uh, just sliding it out of the trap. You don't even have to touch the mouse. So, uh, yeah, it works great. Uh, again, I'll update this video if I actually catch another one. But I've already caught three and one in the garage. So, uh, also, it runs on... D batteries so like this is the same set of D batteries I've had and uh, You can judge by that green light that it's very strong still so it's it's an upgrade compared to the classic one And I'll go show you the uh, the old classic one now All right, this is the rat zapper uh, classic. <clears throat> this is the original model that they first had um, The problem that I had and this did last a couple years by the way this didn't just happen over a year um it takes AAAs first off. The other one takes D batteries. Uh, we're gonna go investigate one that's in my work shed after this and see if it tripped. And uh, if, it, if it didn't trip, there's nothing in it, then you won't see it on this video. But anyways, it takes four AA's, which don't last this long. Uh, this one does not operate anymore, only because one of the connectors, I don't know if you can see that, it broke off because it got wet and it rusted out. Now that, I, I actually, blame myself for uh, I had it out in some weather and it rusted out so overall I would say that this is still a reputable product the only problem with the rat zapper classic is that it's not gonna last as long because it only has four triple a bad I mean double a batteries four double a batteries so therefore when you zap a mouse I mean typically when I was using it I could catch about three mice and then I had to replace the batteries but that's just my experience um, another thing to note, okay, and you see how it just has that cover. The Rat Zapper Ultra has a cover too. Really easy to take off on all switch. Uh, on this one, the classic, when you turn it on, it quickly lights the red LED light just quickly. It like pulses in and out just to let you know that it's working. Uh, right now it's off, obviously, it doesn't work. Now, this little thing right here, the Rat Zapper Ultra has one of these too, okay? You could attach a tail. I mean a cable it looks like a mouse with a cable coming out of it and that way you can put a indicator if you caught something because this light would flash red on the rat zapper classic 
if you caught something. Um, the Rats app Ultra has a red light too that keeps blinking on and off if you caught something or if it triggered the, uh, the uh, trap. But if you put, if you buy the optional uh, mouse cable, which I never did, just plugs in here and you have 12 feet to dangle it somewhere so that way you don't have to go up and down like I did on the attic stairs there. You can just have it like peeking out of your attic door and it'll have two uh, red LED lights on the mouse's eyes to light up when the trap has been uh, tripped. So, yeah, I might fix this one, honestly. Um, I'll have to see what I have for parts. But uh, the Rat Sapper Classic is it, still a good buy. It's just that it won't last as long. So if you're someone that wants to just leave it up there for uh, the, the decline of mice populations in your house, you might not want this one because it doesn't last as long with only the four AA batteries. All right, let's go check out the uh, other Ultra Rat Zapper. We'll see if we caught anything. All right, we're going to the work shed here. It's really just an old garage from the 1950s part of my house, but I use it for uh, tool storage, lawnmower storage, and also general storage. So, I have my Rat Zapper Ultra down there. And it's not blinking red, so I don't even have to go check it because I know nothing got in the trap. I did catch one mouse out here. Um, so, you know, I'm just going to keep it there for maintenance. But just to show you, you got to place it in places where, you, where you've seen, you know, mice droppings or, you know, you know there's mice activity. But overall, I, I recommend the uh, Rat Zapper Ultra because it's just a great product to have. Um... I know some people have a problem with the humane problem. The problem I had is I had some humane traps uh, buried deep right there. You see one? I had those, and I don't have a big mouse problem. It only pops up every couple of years, and I keep sealing stuff around the house. But um, the problem with the humane traps was that I caught two mice, no problem, and I released them while in long distance away from my house. But then I had this other mouse. And the mouse would somehow go in the trap, take the peanut butter, and somehow get out of the trap. Like, the peanut butter wouldn't be there the next morning. And you'd be like, what, what the heck's going on? The, the mouse was like MacGyver, okay? So, anyways, that's why I resorted to these shock traps. Uh, they are humane in the fact that the mice are uh, killed pretty fast when they get shocked. Um, and... That's the best I could do. I mean, with that MacGyver mouse, I had sticky traps. I had everything going on because I just couldn't catch it. Sticky traps are inhumane. Um, uh, evidenced by that mouse. I mean, that mouse had its fur stuck to it. it I, I could never catch it. It somehow it would eat its way out of the sticky trap. So, uh, yeah, I think the Rat Zapper Ultras are just the way to go.